I'm back again. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're someone who's been here before, welcome to you and thank you for coming back. Today, I'm going to be doing my eBay sales report and I thought I'd do it a little bit differently than before because before I normally do like the screenshot there, but the app that I use to do that, I don't know if I've got some sort of glitch or what, but the last one took me absolutely ages to do because Every time I was putting a photo on, instead of letting me move on and do the next one, it was taking me right back to the beginning again. So I was having to re-watch my own video. That's not good. <laughs> no, re-watch and try and find the point again and add it on again, add the new photo. So it took absolutely ages. So I think they must have some sort of glitch. And the last time as well was the same. And I thought, oh, no, I can't do that again. It took forever. So what I'll do now, right, if it's okay with you lot, I'm just going to show her the pictures in a minute and do a talk over video. A talk over about the. No. Yeah, I'm going to show the photos, just tell you what they are and what I paid for them, and then do a talk afterwards because I appreciate that not everybody wants to hear me ramble on about <laughs> stuff. So if you're just interested in my sales, I'll just do that now. So that'll be coming up in a second, then I'll, I'll be back in a minute. So this coach dress sold for $1.99. I've obviously lost on that, but I just wanted to get rid of the clothes. This book, $16.99. I think it was a free for a pound book, so I was proper happy with this. That even. <laughs> this skirt sold for £9. I haven't made much on the clothing, but I just wanted to get rid of them. These shoes have gone abroad. The buyer's happy with them at £25. Probably paid a fiver. These hotter shoes as well, I probably paid £5. Sold them for £23. These CDs, I can't remember how much I paid. It would have been more than a pound for them, four ninety nine. This uh, dress, Topshop dress, I've had it for ages. Sold it for fourteen ninety nine. This compact disc player, I got from the charity shop around the corner from me. Sold for twenty pounds. This sold for twenty one pounds. These shoes, I probably paid probably a fiver for them. These were actually Liam's trainers that he bought too big and they didn't fit him. They were still brand new. Sold for forty five. This book was probably one of my free for a pound books that sold it brilliant, twenty nine ninety nine. This not so good. Sold for four pounds, but I only probably paid about thirty p. These rollers have gone abroad, sold them fourteen ninety nine. They were a part of a job lot that I got round the corner. This uh, totes purse, I think I paid one pound fifty or two pounds. These Russell and Bromley sold for twenty nine ninety nine. I think I might have overpaid a little bit on them. These top shop boots, I think were five pounds sold for $24.99 another book sold for $12.99 these are some of the books that I've got on Amazon as well so uh, these hotter shoes sold for $24.99 they sold within a couple of days I'm happy with that Carvella shoes sold for £22 I probably paid four or five pounds for them had them a while these were my pound shoes that I got from the jumble so I accidentally accepted an offer for £40 I wanted to counter but forgot uh, these sold for 20, uh, not 20, 19.99. These Riker shoes boots sold for 20 pounds. These Clark's uh, ankle boots again sold for 19.99. I probably paid about a fiver for them. These decanter tops, I think I paid 20 p each for them. I did put them up really high at first, but no takers. This uh, bear in the big blue house sold for 19.99. Hopefully, if I've done that correct, you should have just seen them. Um some photos of the items that I've sold since my last video. Not a lot, but as you know, if you watch my videos before, I work full time and I only do eBay part time. It's more of a hobby. The reason I don't sell a lot is because I don't put a lot on. I don't list every day. And sometimes I don't list every week. This last week I put about 10 pairs of shoes on on the Sunday and I can't remember the last time I put stuff on since then. So, I've discovered as well promoted listings which I'd never bothered before and the only reason I discovered this is watching other YouTubers who were talking about um, they think the promoted listings isn't getting shown on other people's eBay page because they've got ad blockers. Now to be honest I'd seen this promoted listing before but no not seen it before. You know when you go to app, like put your items on and you see like share this item, promote this item, I hadn't really took much notice. It's only the other videos that I've seen that I kind of thought, oh, what, what is that? So I don't know if that, I've started to put that on a couple of my items, only 1% because I'm tired. I thought I'd just give it a go, like, you know, whether that's helped or the fact that I put 10 new items on Sunday and I can't remember the last time I actually put items on, which is why I suddenly had like a bit of a, not spurge, what's the word? 
uh, quite a few items done in the one week, shoes mainly. So whether that had to do with the fact that I put 10 new items on in one day or i had done the promoted listings or the send offers to buyers because everybody who watches my item, they're getting an offer sent to them. So I had the one problem, not problem, the one with the one item, what was it? Hang on, let me get my phone. There was one item, where is it? I can't remember. <laughs> Basically, I sent the watcher, as you know, you don't know who the watcher is. I sent them an offer and then they said they would like to pay £16. Would I accept £16? And I said, yeah, I'd accept £16. I think that's correct. I might be wrong there. But because I'd already sent an offer out, it wouldn't let me update my listing. So I sent them a message saying I can't update it because it's actually because there's an offer on the table sort of thing. So they said, um, if they pay the money, would I refund them the four pounds? And I thought, you know what? Why not? Like, I'd only put the boots on. There's Riker, Riker boots. I'd only put them on Sunday. And there wasn't, I didn't think they were very nice boots and not the kind of thing I would wear, but I thought they were really ugly. <laughs> you know, but they wanted them for £16. I was happy to let them go. I think I only paid about £4 for them. I'm sure I showed them in the last haul. So I don't know if the rush of the items sold has to do with. Like I say, whether it's me sending offers to watchers, promoted listings. Because like I was with these promoted listings before, I just kind of thought, well, I don't want to pay any more bugger off eBay. I already pay you enough. Pay you enough to sell me items and you want a bit more <laughs> to promote it. Will you promote it? <laughs> if you promote me items, I'm paying you. So maybe it's worth I don't know. Like I've seen on other people's videos, there's no way of proving that item sold due to the promotion or it was going to sell anyway nobody knows so i've got a few items that i've got to pack today that bear the bear in the big blue house which had a did that is that one the one with the white nose let me have a look i'm trying to i've got my phone no i've got one that's got a white nose and it's supposed to have a blue nose <laughs> you know but i'm still waiting to sell that one and some decanter top things Somebody did send me a message on that asking if I could do anything about the postage. Could I put £10 postage? Because I keep losing out on the bloody postage when I pack stuff. Like I, I just guess the prices and then it ends up being more because by the time I packed it, it's massive. So I, says, I thought, well, now I'm going to have to use loads of bubble wrap on them. The box is going to be massive. Without being rude, I kind of think, well, the price is there. If you don't want to pay the price nobody's forcing you to right you know so i refuse to budge on the price of the postage for that but oh, they've been, i think they are about 20p each i can't remember now i haven't even done the other video yet where i've <laughs> like, done the photos and that because i've got to attach them on afterwards so th that's it that's all i've saw like i say if you're watching this to get advice or learn anything about eBay. The only advice I can give, which I've learned the hard way financially, is you have to keep listing, you have to keep active. I just feel that that seems to be the key to eBay. And obviously you've got to have decent stuff, like, you know, because I've got stuff on here that's been there for ages. I might bundle it up and just sell it as a job lot or something just to get rid of it or just give it back to the charity shop. So that's the only advice I can give people if that's helpful to anyone so you may notice i'm in a different room i've just recorded poundland um video because i've got stuff from poundland and i'm in my dining room because my little room's a mess and you would have seen my dog frank if you watched one of my videos before when we done the wall there where tongue and grooved it we did have two dogs but unfortunately trixie passed away in i think it was july i think the vet said she'd had a stroke she was very old so it's easier being in the dining room now because Trixie was lovely, but she was a loony. <laughs> she would have been trying to jump on the table and everything. She was completely nuts. She was gorgeous. So, so now we've just got Frank. So is he going to say hello? Frank? Frank? He's buggered off now. On the um, Poundland one, I think he wanted his own bloody YouTube channel. Actually, I'm thinking to do the YouTube channel. Just show my bloody dog. Because Liam watches this one video. This bloke, is he called Reuben the Bulldog? This bloke just seems to be following his dog around. We got, you can hear his footsteps now. Just for, hello? Are you okay? Are you coming out? He's, under the, he's right under my legs now. Are you coming out to say hello? I'm going to, I'll show you him. 
If, if you're not a dog person, <laughs> you won't be interested, but if you are, you can see my dog. You're gonna say hello. Say hello to everyone. Hello, Miss Ellis. Hello, hello. Where are you going, Tank? Come say hello, mate. Frank. 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 Come on, come and say hello. Frank, come here. Oh, got all camera shy now. I watched the other day the Sella Ladies Live video and they had Indie Chick on there and she was talking about, they were, well they were all talking about how they do their listings, most of them do it in bulk, like they prepare all their items, they do all the photo or all the drafts and then do a bulk lot. Now I can't do that, I think that's why I just can't do clothes because when I was listening to Indie Chick she was saying how she does it like that. And then she was saying her husband gets one item, fixes it, cleans it, photo does it all in one go. So he just deals with one item. And that's how I've done it. I've always done it like that. Because when I've been watching the other people's videos, I'm like, I think I'm doing, doing it the long way round. <laughs> you know, I think I should be doing it in bulk. But I can't do things in bulk. I have to do things in order, believe it or not. I do try and be all, like, I've got to admit, I'm the same at work when I've got a job. I have my certain way of doing it. Like, you know, I have to do this first, then that, then that, then that. I can't do this, that, 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 that. So I don't forget how to do it. I have an order that I like to do things. And even if someone distracts me, I'm like, hang on, <laughs> you know, woo there. I've got my order. <laughs> You have to wait. No, I'm not that rude, honestly. But I'm like, oh, give me a minute, like you know, just let me finish this because if I don't finish what I'm doing, I'm stuffed. But basically, my point was, however you do your eBay listings, it's down to you. Whatever works for you. I know Karen sells clothes says this a lot. Don't compare yourself to others. But I actually think over the past year or so, I have been sort of comparing myself to other people and thinking, I don't do it like that. I just do one individual item at a time. I can't do. I have. Don't get me wrong. If I've got the shoes, I've got like a bag of shoes. But I literally get the one pair of shoes, clean it, like you know, check it all over and everything, research it, do me photo. I like do all the description, then do my photos. Then that's the way. Then I'll pick up another pair of shoes. I've got to admit, on the odd occasion, if they're really dirty and need scrubbing under the sink like you know the, the soles and that I'll do a couple of pairs of them but when I come to the listing I have to do one at a time I that's just the way I do it and to hear Indie Chick talking about her husband doing it that way I thought thank god for that I'm not the only one because I'm actually beginning to wonder is that why I don't make any profit is that why I lose interest because I'm not doing it right not lose interest but like I said, I always think I was comparing myself to other people and that's just wrong. <laughs> it's just wrong. Just do, at the end of the day, do what suits you. I'd say I don't use eBay to make a living. I have a full-time job, but if anything happened to my full-time job, even, I would want to do eBay full-time because I just love it, basically. Not so keen on Amazon at the moment, again. Basically... I had an email about something to do with Germany. You've got to sign up for some tax thing. And I just ignore Amazon because I don't like Amazon. The customer service is shocking. There's just, I don't like the way they treat the sellers. I think this Jeff bloke needs to sort out. He's, I mean, I know he's a multi-millionaire, but he's an arsehole personally. <laughs> you know, well, I shouldn't call him an arsehole. I don't know the bloke. The way his company is run towards sellers, I'd say... They treat, I'm wording it really bad. I'll take that back. He's not an arsehole. It's probably a really nice bloke. But the way Amazon customer service treats their sellers is shocking. It's just really bad. I mean, at the moment, like I says, I think I've been deactivated. Although my stuff's on there and it says they're active. When I look on Amazon, when it goes to the Amazon page, they're not there. Because it says something about on Germany... It's been deactivated because I didn't, I've got to go on my laptop and see what it is. But I can't even be bothered. I'm just so fed up with Amazon. I'm just like, you know what, go away. <laughs> I'm not interested. Lisa, although eBay has its faults, many faults. I mean, I was watching Karen's video earlier where she said about the scheduled listings. She'd been charged for scheduled listings and she shouldn't have been charged. And she spoke to different customer services and got different responses. Well, 
to be honest, I find Amazon customer service worse. You think eBay are bad? If you anybody who's dealt with Amazon, nah. So I think I've been deactivated, and you know what? Stuff them. I don't care. Do what you want, Amazon. I was a Jeff or whatever Jeff Bezos. I can't remember his name. He's a multi-millionaire, but maybe he should use some of that money in training some of his staff. And why have you made your sellers? I just find Amazon very hard work. I really do. Even when I used to do my jewellery, it was like one minute it was straightforward. Then the next time I'd go on, and what I used to do before had been taken off. And then you've got to use barcodes on your stuff. And you're like, why have I got to use a barcode when it's my own individual item? So then I had to go on eBay. God, this is long-winded, isn't it? I had to go on eBay to find, to buy barcodes, to use the barcodes. And I'm like, why? Just I just find Amazon, let's say for eBay's faults, it's a lot more user-friendly, I personally find, rather than Amazon. So that's my little bit of a rant. I'm just annoyed that I put all my books on Amazon and now I think I've been deactivated. So I'm going to put them all on eBay. But a couple of books are sold, but a lot of the books that I'm picking up are specialist books. So what I'm doing is basically undercutting Amazon. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I'll undercut Amazon because the fees on eBay are cheaper than Amazon anyway. So that's what I've got to do. So that's what these cupboards here have all got books and DVDs that are all on Amazon. But... They're not actually on Amazon because when I look on there, they're not showing up. I'm, I'm invisible now and I can't even be bothered to phone them up or get them to cut, do me a call back because it's just, I ain't that bothered anymore with Amazon. So anyway, I completely forgot what I started to talk about. I think I was going on about how I do my listings, wasn't I? I just do individual item at a time. That's just the way I can do it. So yeah, so... I start off talking about one thing and then I end up rambling. That's why I thought I'd do me sales first because I know some people are just interested in what's sold. But for them items that are sold, I've probably got about 400 items that haven't sold, haven't got no watches, have got no interest at all in them. I mean, I'm reducing prices. I'm changing. No, I'm not changing the description because I'm too lazy. <laughs> but I'm reducing prices and everything. And... I've discovered, uh, what's the app I've got on my phone? Photo Fuss. If anybody wants a white, pure white background, there's an app. I didn't realise they had an app till a couple of months ago because I used to have a website. It's called Photo Fuss. I'll put a picture of it up here if I remember. I think it's supposed to be for Etsy sellers to use, but anyone can use it. And basically, you take a picture. It's so simple. You take a picture, you go round it with your finger, and upload it or press force or something and you get a pure white background now i can't figure out how you get that then to your ebay so what i do is if anybody's using this and they know a simpler way please let me know because what i do is once i've got the the white picture sometimes uh, when i i've used it at work a couple of times for items i'll email it to myself and then just snip it but what i do when i do it on my phone is Basically, I'll get the white, the picture, the items on my brush with the pure white background and then I'll screenshot it and then just cut it, you know, when you uh, edit it and you get the square and then I put it on eBay. I don't know if that's the correct way or what, but I just think some of my items look a bit better with a pure white background. But then saying that, I did see something on, was it Facebook? Where people were saying they don't like buying items with a pure white background. Let's I imagine that. I'm sure I read that. Which is each to their own. See, I won't buy items. I know this is going to... I don't mean to offend anyone when I say this because I know a lot of um, resellers do this. And if they, you've got a nice figure and a nice body, why not? But I don't like seeing items of clothing on people. I don't know why. I, I don't... It's just the way I am. If I see somebody uh, selling um, a T-shirt and they're actually wearing it, it kind of puts me off. I don't know if anybody else feels like that. I don't know if that's just me. Oh, my battery's low on this. So I'm going to have to write, <laughs> write this up. The battery lights just come on. So, yes, yeah, so I don't know if that's just me. And if you are one of these resellers who take photos, some of the women look beautiful on it and they've got amazing figures and fair play to them. And I think... Probably I'm a little bit jealous, I don't know, <laughs> like, you know, but 
if I see an item and the person's wearing it, I just don't, I just don't want to buy it. It's just my personal opinion. But there you go. So, like I said, I've got to go because the battery's going to go in a minute and I've got to charge it. And I've actually got to pack some items up as well. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you to it. I'm talking fast. Sorry about that. I don't mean to be rude. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. If you want to give this video a thumbs up, I'll be really grateful. Thank you. Um, if you want to leave a comment down below, that'd be great. I do read every comment and I do appreciate every comment that you've gone to the effort to take the time. If you want to follow me on Instagram as well, it's the same username as he said. So take care, everyone. I'm going to go to the bathroom. going to go. Bye. See you.